everyone. Cole, a.k.a. Trans Spirit here, a transgender human being going through a spiritual awakening. What's going on, everybody? So today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, what it's like to be more of a non-binary, gender-fluid, transgender-style human being. That's what I consider myself. I've, always, I've considered myself transgender um, most of my entire life, although I didn't know what the word me like meant, that there was a word for how I felt until about um, 2004. And um, when I go out in public, most of the time I wear masculine clothing and because I identify with being a male and I enjoy that clothing and I always have from preschool. I always begged to have the boy clothes and it was a tooth and nail fight for many years. Um, when I'm in certain situations, like I'm sitting outside the gym now, I'm looking at it like, hey there. When I'm outside of places like the gym, which is a very, when you're an, when you're a non-binary person, okay, you're going to start noticing the gender binary much more than probably the average person because it's just like the norm to them. There's boy, there's girl, that's it, whatever, that's life. When you don't fit into those categories, you start noticing when the categories are much more amplified in your reality, such as a bathroom or, let's say, a gym. Because with a gym, um, at least every gym, I personally go to Planet Fitness, and I do enjoy the gym. However, I, have no, I haven't found a non-binary bathroom or a family-friendly bathroom in any Planet Fitness, although I've only been to two. So I don't know, maybe there's one that has one, but it really sucks because of the whole locker room situation. And so what I wanted to kind of talk about was more so the, um, I, yeah, I mentioned that non-binary people will notice this more, but my, my biggest thing I wanted to talk about is how much I kind of stay in flux with the gender because I've come to terms after dealing with a lot of gender dysphoria and overcoming a lot of toxic masculinity and thinking I have to look a certain way and overcoming worrying about what other people think too. I still worry about what other people think to a certain degree, but it's nowhere near like it was when I was younger. And I know that the more that I spiritually grow, the less I will care about what other people think. That's a very third dimensional egotistical way to look at life. And that's all about uh, the reprogramming of the subconscious mind, all of that. I'll get into the, well, I have gotten into it in other videos. If you want to go check out the subconscious mind videos that I made, um, there's just a lot of programming going on in on this planet, and a lot of it has to do with the gender binary. Because it's like, with the forces at B, they, they've made it to where being at someone in between, such as myself, is like not real and not right and this and that and this and that. So we're here to say we don't agree with that and this is the way we're seeing it. What's right for you is is what's right for you. And being in the gray area is right for me. I identify more with being male, but I chose not to transition. And I chose to take a uh, spiritual path with as little chemicals ingested as possible. That's what felt good and right and resonated with me. Not to say you can't have a spiritual path and ingest chemicals. Not to say you can't be spiritual and take testosterone. You absolutely can. Heck yeah. For me, I chose not to transition. So when I go to places, so back to where I was headed with the whole subject for this video, is when I go into a place like the gym, again, I'm staring at it. Um, when I go into a place like the gym, I've gotten to the point where I almost prefer to look more feminine. I mean, that's difficult for me because I don't really identify with being a female. There are certain aspects I do, and the part of me, the little part of me that can relate to it is the part of me that's okay with wearing a tighter shirt that's definitely going to show my breast or, you know, wearing this bandana as opposed to a ball cap. But it's also silly, really, because women who identify as women wear ball caps and men who identify as masculine and men wear bandanas. So it's all perspective. That's just for me makes me feel more feminine because normally I like to wear a ball cap and that makes me feel more masculine. Because when I was younger, see, it's always rooted back to our childhood. When I was younger, 
I would tell myself that I can't ha wear a ball cap because it makes me look too much like a boy when I was really afraid. It was like I was afraid of people calling me out on dressing like a boy because I was holding a deep, dark secret. And that secret was, I feel like a boy in a girl body. And I felt crazy because I had never heard of anyone being transgender in my life. And I never heard of anyone feeling like they're trapped in the wrong body. I grew up in um, the 90s. I was born in the mid 80s. So growing up in the 90s and growing up in a working class family, we didn't have the internet. And we didn't, I mean, until I was like older, 18, 19, which is around the time that I looked on the internet and found out what transgender meant. So um, yeah, I just wanted to, to let you know that falling into that gray area is completely okay. And uh, we just got to make it more the norm. It's all perspective. And we make it more the norm by being ourselves. Like if I feel more feminine walking into a gym wearing a tighter shirt and that makes me feel better because I know I'm going to have to go into the ladies bathroom, then I'm okay with that. So I kind of like shift and like chameleon in between the two. So on any given normal day, if I'm going grocery shopping, then um, I'll dress more masculine. But that's the funny thing is like we say masculine and feminine for these clothings, but like the, the clothing actually doesn't have a gender. We place the gender on it. So I could wear a mini skirt and say, well, I just feel masculine. It's all perspective, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to share a little bit with that of that with you. And um, I'm wondering if you feel the same. Leave a comment below if, if you experience this or if you find yourself kind of like being a little more feminine or masculine, whatever that means to you in certain situations, almost as a sense of protection. Have a good day, everybody.